I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> so, I'm going to paint the little platforms that I made. So. <laughs> it almost looks like a toilet paper roll, but it ain't. Somebody already tried to tell me that it looked like a toilet paper roll. But, I took the long route. I didn't use a toilet paper roll. It almost looks blocky because it's really hard to bend cardboard like, like when I didn't apply heat and everything to it. I'm painting these first because I need them to dry before I put them on the inside of that. So you got some silver going on. Well, I could have laminated it in like duct tape, but take a total shortcut. But yeah, I've used duct tape on my projects before, and and then it's really hard to apply. Um, it, it's really hard to apply anything to that because like. It, it doesn't stick and then it flakes off if it's paint paint on duct tape then then it's gonna flake off I'm painting this silver and it's gonna then I gotta let it dry I'm, I'm just seeing how everybody's doing and I could probably get me some like LED lights or something for this that'd be cool Oh shit. It's going, it's going. Ah. I make a lot of different models though, like I'm working on this spice drill stage. I got uh, an MCR box over there that I'll be making one for A War Within and then uh, Normandy 61 Miles to Hell should be a lot of fun I didn't do anything for like Christmas otherwise something like this like I, I've for like Christmas, you know, like those little villages, like those little houses or whatever. Like, I, if I did anything for Christmas, which I didn't, then I would have, I would have made something like that. Let's see, it's, it's turn it silver. It's cardboard with paper glued to it. What you want, boo? Somebody just messaged me. No. But if there's like some kind of scenery, like like a dollhouse per se, like if anybody's interested in models like that, it hit me up and I'll make them. And I don't charge too much to make these. I really don't. I feel like not a lot of people are even interested in stuff like this or like they, they feel that they can make it at home on their own or whatever you go ahead and do that I mean if, if you need advice on how to make certain things then I'm right here I think one coat is sufficient it's dark enough and it's, it's gonna dry shiny. So, and nobody's paying that close attention. Yeah, let's see. So that's what I mean. I'm like really afraid that like you put paint over you put paint over glue or yeah that too. Cause I could fill it. 
It's one of the platform. Okay, so my next trick, getting it off my hand without touching it. Yay! Um, I've done that. There, but that's one of the platforms in the pictures that I just showed. This is what it looks like before I painted it. This, so there's two of them. Actually, there's four. So after I get the extensions for both sides of the stage, I gotta make two more of these because the other ones, the, it, it would go like right about here. Like right on the front. Actually, you know what? No. Where would it be? No, because these ones, they come up to like the height of the stairs. And then I think there's platforms a little bit taller than this right next to that even. So, yeah. It would be like right here. And then the ends of the stage. So, there's that. Yeah. Set that right there so that I can drag. If I need to touch it up, I'll touch it up. Bullet. So. Without dumping the silver all over the place. <laughs> ah, and there it goes. Oh, fuck my life. That's gonna be a hard as hell getting off of my skin. I shouldn't have done that. I feel like a moron. No, it's gonna be really hard getting off my skin because it's metallic. So I said, now my hand is gonna have like silver chips all over it. Same thing with my brushes. I gotta soak those. Shitting me right now. No, no, Touch. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I shouldn't have dumped all of that on top at once, especially tilting it like a dumbass. It's like filling a cup up all the way to the rim. And then... <laughs> Sup, dudes? I'm painting my arts and crafts now. That's all I'm doing. I just thought that I would get on here and do a, a Facebook Live, something I haven't done in a while. and. I didn't know what to put on here because I feel like I bore people shitless and it's really not my thing anyway. And I'm not hopping on camera because I look like shit. So if this doesn't bore you to make you leave my little whatever Facebook live, then me appearing on camera would make you leave. Nothing. What is the matter with you? No. Okay, so everybody's talking about, like, what happened at the Royal Rumble. Everybody's talking about what happened on Raw. Especially with, like, Nia Jax saying that, like, she's talking about her asshole. I'm sitting there, like, that shit. I, I was cracking up. Like, maybe I should have picked a better choice of words right there, but... That is funny. You know what? They need to pick new commercials, really, like ASAP. Because these commercials are getting stupid and annoying. Repetitive, annoying. This one's stupid. How much are these hearing aids? Like $3,500? It's like... Oh, they... $5,000? 
five thousand dollars would you really pay that damn much and yeah. he starts singing over some damn hearing aids All right. Oh, shut up. Like, who my actual fuck is going to pay $5,000 for some stupid hearing aid? There it is. There's the other one. Just think, I, I gotta make two more after that. One. There's a suspicious person on the property. <laughs> These commercials, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> like, I know. My stage is right in your guys' way. You guys are probably like, what you talking about? Like, what commercial? <laughs> you can't see it any damn way. Oh, well. Because the whole point is to, like... And watch me paint, not watch the TV. <laughs> oh, shit. Make sure it strokes in the same direction. Otherwise, you're going to see all the bristle marks, and it's like. Eh, 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 eh. This brush sounds like it's getting rock hard. Because the metallic paints, they they dry these out faster than regular paint. Like my silver and my gold do this shit. And then I'll, I'll paint. Ah, oh, I'll paint. I will post pictures um, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. VK. I love VK. It's actually really fun. It, it's like, it's just like Facebook. It really is. And then if you guys want to add me there, then you can. My username on there is I am HCR. Check me out. M.VK.com slash I am HCR. You have to have a phone number for it, though. Because, like, in order to even like activate your account and stuff, you you actually need a phone number. Yeah, I know that some people they they access their accounts with, uh, with a um, a computer. Yeah, it's starting to look good. So you have silver now. <laughs> just dump it on there. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just dump it on there. <laughs> Your face is plastered all over the news. It's like great, fantastic, lovely. That's not a good thing at all. No, so I saw this story at like 6 this morning on HLN, and this lady, she ran out of her hair products, um, and because she didn't go and just get another bottle when she ran out, she turned around and put, um... Well, instead of using, like, hair gel or something to style your hair, this chick, she put Gorilla Glue in her hair. 
And then, because Gorilla Glue is actually permanent, this girl, her hair is like matted to her head. And then she even like went to the hospital because um, it felt like she said it felt like her, her scalp was stretching out or whatever. It was like, that's, cause that's the glue drying. <laughs> that's the glue adhe adhesing, adhering to your skin. I'm like, what is that word? I hate English. I really do. Well, you can always take the word of a barefoot bandit and commit your crime with no fucking shoes on, but you're gonna sit there and bitch and moan about, oh, I got DNA all over my sneakers. It's like, that's what the dude is saying on TV. <laughs> He's bitching and moaning because he, he got some shit all over his shoes. It's like, well, you could have done something else, like not commit that crime. If you're bitching and moaning about some fucking sneakers. You dumb fuck. And then you think that you, you're you're exempt from getting caught. Like a dumbass. I don't need to paint the inside because you're not going to see it any damn way unless you take the platforms out. Oh, God, okay. Mm -mm. He's guilty. I bet he's guilty. No other if hands or butts about that. I don't know how these people feel after, like, right after they kill somebody and then they. And then they're still talking shit, and they're still like, oh, I'm innocent. And it's like, no, all the proof in the world says that it was your ass. Ooh. Looks good. There. Now, it's all, it's all silver now. And then the, the backboard is going to be black. Put that right there because I'm not trying to get paint on my bed. That, that fucking sucks. So, the black. Eventually, the church 18 year old Nathaniel Duran to the murder of. I couldn't pronounce that chick's name if I wanted to. Holy shit, I feel like I'm gonna rip my nails off. Nails that I really don't have. Well, that was creepy when I turned that picture negative. Because <laughs> it made her look like she had like, no teeth. Shit, shit. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. <laughs> I'm painting. I think that's better because now that you can actually see where I'm at. It ain't like you can see this part anyway, but I'm a painter anyways. Because something goes inside of this, and so it's, it really isn't like you're gonna see it. Collecting toys for Christmas isn't as easy as it used to be. Just ask huh. the coordinator of Toys for Tots. We previously had just bring a trash bag in. Toys, toys for Tots. And that was pretty much the end of it. This year, he's checking each toy to make sure it hasn't been recalled. 
Especially to the pieces that I really can't see because it's dark in there, but I'm painting them anyway. I'm trying to get this knocked out as fast as I can so that way my live feed doesn't, it's not pointless and long. And, and then I still need to make the, um, the trim on top. But yeah, I mean, I saw some pretty interesting stories on the news already today. I don't know if they had happened, like, actually today, or if they had actually happened, like, super late last night, and the news coverage didn't pick it up until, like, now. There, it's, it's starting to look good. Yeah, because I still need to make the, um, there's something that goes, like, right here. The, the graphics on the screen. That doesn't mean shit. It really doesn't. You don't need to live in bum fucking nowhere to be self-sufficient. You can live in the city if you wanted to. For a second I flipped the image upside down in my head and that was a mistake because I almost had a thought of painting that silver and I'm like, wait a minute, it's not silver. Like, I forgot for like a split second that this, I tilted the stage upside down. I got some black on the... No, uh, I thought I... <laughs> well, it's looking good so far. And like I said, if you guys want to order these little models that I'm making, you can message me. I don't even charge that much for them. It's like, I came up with the price based on the size. I'm not going to overcharge people on something they could, like, make at home, but maybe perhaps, like, they don't have time at home to make these. I don't know. Or they simply don't have the supplies or the, you know, for it. So I... I thought, hey, you know, and I like doing arts and crafts. I like sharing the stuff that I make, and people have bought my stuff before, so. Because originally I'm like, hey, I'm going to make this for myself, because I'm a big fan of the Spice Girls, so I, I thought, I'll make it. Kind of like a... Like something I, I really wanted to bring to life, you know, I have for myself. And then it's the same thing with like the Spice Bus model that I made. So now if I made the Spice Bus and then I make the Spice Girls stage, then they could, they could be on the stage, they could be in the bus. You know, I've had this bus for a couple years now. You know, I've always had that dream where, like, at one point, like, we were homeowners, and I'm like, wouldn't that be really, really cool if um, the rooms in the, in the house, we, we made them over to look like the rooms of the Spice Bus? I'm <laughs> like, that'd be cool. But I know that that would be really outlandish, and people would probably judge us and be like, why do that to your room? 
you know, like your house is colorful as fuck. Like I've always had that that dream that like if we lived in a big enough house, we could like turn the rooms inside the and make it look like that. It would be really, really colorful, though. And like here, the posh room, the baby room, the sporty room, the scary room, the ginger room. Like, they'd be so colorful if somebody came over and, and came over to hang out with us and they had seen, you know, like, oh my gosh, that room has zebra print on the wall and that room is pink and that room looks like a blue puff jacket and that room is like lilac which would probably would have been like the most normal room in the whole thing and and then another room looks like a doomsday room because it's like silver and then to have all this like futuristic looking like furniture so the backboard is gonna look like it's like you're in space Starting to look good. And some people are probably just like, "What you making?" It'll make sense once it's actually finished. I just thought I've been looking at it while it's incomplete for for like a week now and because I have been jumping between projects so I'm like I'm like okay well I'm gonna finish this before I don't finish this and then I'll put this on my table I could I gotta go out and buy two two more small boxes all they are all it is is like that that box that you get your ramen noodles in that's all that is it's because it's, it's small enough it's not like this huge packing box like but that's what my spice bus is though it's that's a packing box everybody's like oh gosh you know you keep talking about your spice bus and then you don't freaking show us what it looks like uh, unless you already know what it looks like start up a fringe me see that's the um that's the bathroom all the stools fell fell over and then ginger's room sporty's room baby's room There's the kitchen, and there's Pasha's room, Scary's room, and the living room. All the furniture is, like, scattered. Oops. It's the S. And then the big UK flag. And since my roommate, at, uh, she gave this back to me after I moved out of her house, I told her, pack my shit up and so, I, so I could be ready when I move out and then she turned around like a bitch she turned around the reason why it's got marks on the side like that is because she she broke the fucking wheels off of it it had wheels on it and she ripped the material like she broke all kinds of my stuff that's the least of my worries but then I had to turn around and ask a couple of people in general like on my I'm just on my friends list. Hey, do you think you could do me a favor and help me pay for um, the wires that were vandalized for, or like the uh, the hookups to my PlayStation 2? And so a couple of people saw that I love playing video games and I have I still have a PS2 and like I need help 
getting the wires again and then people are like man i'll hook you up you know they they don't cost that much and i'm like oh my gosh you're a lifesaver oh my gosh <laughs> not looks like my cat trouble <laughs> It's looking good though, I mean, I mean, I had like thoughts for the longest time on to, to make a stage, I'm like, uh, like I said, like, I had thoughts for the longest time that I'm, I'm going to make the bus too, and I actually did it, that's actually the third bus I ever made, like the first one I made, it was like 10 years ago, and then... And then I made another one for my niece, and then I just recently made one for myself. So I'm sitting there like, she wanted one. She asked me if I can make her one more, though, because she says that, like, some of the, some of the things inside of her bus, um, they broke off or something like that. Like the little pieces of furniture I made up in that one, like I gotta, I gotta put them back in their place. The non-sports dads. Yeah, well, my dad is sporty as fuck. He's the one that got me into sports. He's the one that that got me to play softball and soccer. And I got into tennis a little bit, but I'm, like, horrible at it. Played some volleyball, bowling, floor hockey, adapted floor hockey. Once again, though, like, my team was made up of guys. I, I feel like I get along much better with the guys because girls are too fucking catty. Like, I, like, no offense to the, the girls that have been nice to me there's a couple but then like in in my experience just girls are too much i don't i don't want the the girls to any one women like i said i hate english oh my gosh i sound like i'm from another country and i still don't know how to speak it no speak english It's looking good, man. Oh, and I still gotta draw the graphics for the back, but I'll do that off camera because I'm sure that I would I would bore you guys to death if I sat here for hours on end. Just it would be like a Facebook Live marathon if I freaking drew those graphics while you guys were watching me. It would. You guys say, what the fuck, you're still on here? I'll be on here for a little bit, though. Not, like, so long where if you guys tried to watch this video back and, and see how I was doing, you wouldn't be up for it. Like, you'd be like, oh my gosh, this video is way too long, I got bored. Gail Blanchard 
who seems to be avoiding the police. That's not suspicious at all. Yeah. Oh, but you, I ain't got nothing to hide. It's like, then why you been running, fool? That's your excuse? That doesn't stop you from coming into your job and picking up your paycheck. It's called walk in, pick up your paycheck. You don't need a cell phone to do that. Stupid ass. Alrighty, look at that. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, like, peeled back the little piece of paper that... <laughs> yeah, because I've been watching these YouTube videos where this dude, he, um, hello, where this dude, he makes, like, these, um, these LED light houses, and he makes them out of cement, but I don't have the money or the, um, the, like, I'm not gonna make somebody else pay, like, out the ass for, um, cement model of something. Like, and it weighs way too freaking much, so it's like, why? Like, why would I do that? Social circles? What are those? Social circles? I got zero idea what that is. Oh, shit. Ooh, look at that. Looking so good, oh my gosh. The silver is still not dry. You would think because it's metallic that it would dry relatively quick. That is a no. It's a big fat no. Ooh, that turned out great. <laughs> exactly. Oops. There. Looks really good. And then those, those platforms, like, I gotta make two more of them, because they're gonna go, like, on each side of, of those, but they'll be taller. Once I get, like, two more boxes to go on this side and that side, and then. But then, so I have, like, a bunch of ideas going in my head right now, like. I'm going to. I'm, I gotta make the backboard still, because there's, like, this huge, like, winged uh, backdrop that I gotta glue up on there. And then I gotta paint that as well. And then I'm gonna make these little, like, inserts. The, um, like these SPICE doors that are on it. It's gonna be really cool looking, I think. I think, so, like, once it all comes together, like, I can't wait until it does. You know, once the, the whole stage is one piece and 
So like I said though, if anybody wants to order these, they can. Uh, all you have to do is inbox me and I'll inbox you straight back. So I'm thinking something like this. It, it would cost no more than like 35 bucks. Cause, and it doesn't weigh anything. It's just, it's light cardboard. It's just, it's the, the shipping box I got to put it in, which like I said, it'll still weigh nothing. So this, this would be really good for like any Spice Girl fans or like if, if you have a favorite musician and you're like a, a huge fan of that person, like say like Metallica and you see what their stage looks like, or if you like, um, like Peter Frampton or something like that. And then, and then you really like their stage. I can make their stage. I can make a little action figure of that person and you can add it to your collection. If you have a, an existing collection of that person that you really like mine just so happens to be the spice girls so now i got their stage one of their stages because this is like one of five i mean if i'm gonna get if i'm gonna get technical and name them numbers like their trading cards and this would be stage number two of five because they used this stage for the world tour in 1998 and then like when they when Jerry was still in the band and then when she left and then of course they used this stage at Wembley Stadium in 1998 September 20th 19th and 20th of September 1998 and then they had a, another stage that they used for the Earl's Court Christmas in Spice World and then they and then another stage in 2007. And then on the, their newest stage that they had from like 2019. So, and then I know that I'm missing a stage, their original stage. The um, Spice Girls in Istanbul, 1997. But yeah, this is number two of five. And there isn't anything coming off the front of it or anything like that. Not like the Earl's Court one where there's this, it's like a circular stage. It's it's like a stage like this, a basic stage like this, but there there's no stairs on it like this one. It's flat and, and then there's, there's this huge ramp that comes down. And then the stage that they're actually performing on, it's a giant circle. So it's like... Of course, somebody who wants to like order those stages, uh, they'd be they'd be in pieces, and you'd have to assemble them yourself when it gets to you. Like this one's already assembled. The other two pieces, all you have to do is put three boxes right next to each other. That's all you're doing. It's not like you have to glue them or whatever it is. Put them all together like that. Just put them right next to each other and. You could glue them if you really don't want them to separate. But yeah, this is this is the center column, more or less. And the girls can stand on here. See, it's nice and sturdy. It's not weak or anything. And then they got some stairs that they can come down. That's really cool. It actually turned out really good. I didn't think that it was going to. I really didn't think it was going to turn out like that. But it did. It turned out great. Thank you, guys. Whoever tuned in, you guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you.